What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and another video. Uh, today I wanted to go over my number one modification to add a little bit of luxury to the interior of your Jeep JK. Um, as you guys know, or as you may not know or may know, um, the Jeep JK interior leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, while it is more updated than the TJ interior, of course, it's definitely not as luxurious as a lot of other vehicles um, around these same years. So let's go ahead and jump right into my number one mod for the interior of your Jeep that will make driving it a lot more fun, make road trips a lot easier, and also add a little luxury to your Jeep. So let's go ahead and jump right into it, guys. All right, guys, so as you can see here in the interior, there's not a whole lot going on. I mean, it's all pretty pretty simple, uh, not a terrible interior, you know, for a vehicle like a Jeep. I, I think it's actually not too bad, but there are definitely some things that need to be upgraded here. So um, normally what the JK would come with is a radio like this, or if you upgraded, you would have the touchscreen radio from the factory. Um, now there really isn't anything wrong with this radio, <laughs> but definitely has some problems that are common um, on these. So let's go ahead and jump right into that too. So the number one mod, in my opinion, for the interior of your Jeep is definitely going to be the touchscreen radio. Um, so if you have this from the factory, which will be a majority of people, um, this definitely had some Bluetooth issues. I had issues with this within 50,000 miles of my last JK and within 90,000 miles of this JK. So um, definitely leaves a lot to be desired when it comes to this, uh, this system here. Now the touchscreen radio is a little bit better, but also had its own set of issues. So I would recommend an after market radio. So what I went with was the Sony and let me go ahead and get that part number as well. All right guys, so this is the one that I went with. You can see the part number there. But this is the one that I went with in my JK interior, um, and I've been extremely happy with it. Uh, I want to explain a few reasons why you would definitely want to upgrade that touchscreen radio versus the stock radio or even the stock touchscreen radio. Um, there's a lot of great features on this Sony at a really low price, as you can see at 319. I mean, that's that's dirt cheap. So let's go ahead and jump into my reasons why this Sony should be the touchscreen radio that you go with. All right, guys, so a huge reason you'd want to upgrade to this new Sony or really any aftermarket touchscreen radio would be the Apple CarPlay. And I know it doesn't seem so significant, you know, with a radio, you know, oh, you just wanted to play your music, you just wanted to do, you know, what it needs to do in a vehicle. But something about Apple CarPlay just makes everything so much easier. It makes changing music seamless. It makes everything so much easier. And it gives you a cooler experience. Like you have the album cover here and everything is right here, which is really nice. You don't have to have your phone out. You don't have to have your phone to change the music. You can do everything right here. You can see your full music library, everything. You can even do, I believe, Apple Radio, which is also super nice. So just gives you a bunch of options and a better experience when it comes to, you know, changing music, getting navigation, which I know a lot of the JKs did not come with. So this adds a really nice touch when you can actually do everything right from the screen and you can see around you as well. So if you're on the trails or something, you could even track your trails through here too. Um, if you have an app downloaded for that. So really nice features here with the Apple CarPlay definitely adds to the experience. And again, you can do your podcast, you could do audiobooks, Onyx Off-Road, Pandora, Spotify, everything right from this Apple CarPlay. So it definitely adds a nice touch. And another reason that you would want to upgrade your stereo or your, your radio inside your Jeep is going to be the Bluetooth. Um, now I always had issues with the Bluetooth when it came to my stock radio. Um, and of course I don't have the touch screen, but I do have a few people that I know that have the touch screen from the factory that also had Bluetooth issues. So I'm not sure if that was just a Mopar thing or what, um, but definitely always had connectivity issues with the Bluetooth and that Sony has solved all of them. I've had zero issues with the Sony. Um, I've had a Sony in my previous Jeep as well and also did not have any issues with that. So um, having the dependability of the Bluetooth is super nice. Um, now it's also really nice if you can upgrade your, your radio to where you get Apple CarPlay with Bluetooth. Um, I do not believe this Sony offers 
CarPlay with Bluetooth, you have to be plugged in, um, which to me isn't a big deal because it charges my phone as well, which is really nice, but to some it might be a big deal. So make sure you look at that when you're looking at features to upgrade uh, your stereo. And what's really nice too is how far away you can be from the Jeep with this Sony and it still be connected to Bluetooth. Uh, I've been 10 to 20 feet away from my Jeep, um, sometimes even probably farther than that, and it still stays connected, still plays music, no problem at all. Um, which again, with the stock radio, I 100% could not do. So definitely a really nice feature that some people may not see the value in, but I definitely really like that. And again, another great thing about this and another reason why you would want to upgrade is the affordability. I mean, like it, like you saw there, for 320 bucks, you can get Apple CarPlay, navigation, great Bluetooth, just a bunch of features packed into one. Um, and to me, that is well worth, you know, 300 bucks. And it's, it's just a great deal. Now, of course, there are a few things that you have to add on to make this work with your JK, and I'll get into that here in a second. But again, 320 bucks, very affordable, um, a great option if you want to upgrade the interior of your Jeep and have a better driving experience. Uh, it really does add to the experience, even if you don't think it's going to. It just makes your life a lot easier when you're driving, changing music, navigation, all of that. So definitely would recommend this radio for your JK. But again, guys, it's really hard to beat the price and the bargain for this Sony radio with all the features that you get on it. I mean, for, for about $500 for everything. I mean, you could really get out of this probably cheaper than that, but for about 500 bucks, you get Apple CarPlay, navigation, you get all of the apps from your phone here, you have access to everything, you have Onyx Off-Road, you have Pandora, everything right at your fingertips without having to have your phone in front of you is just a great deal. So if you're looking for an upgrade to the interior of your JK, this is a fantastic option to add some luxury and also to add some convenience to your everyday driving as well as off-roading. And if you are wondering, yes, you can run a rear camera on this. Um, they actually include all the wiring for it. Of course, you also have your radio, you have Sirius XM, Bluetooth, and you even have what's called a web link. Um, so that's like an app on your phone. Not as good as CarPlay, but still pretty good. Um, you also get the Android Auto version of the CarPlay. So that's also built into this. So just a heads up, if you're an Android person, you can also get all of those features as well with this radio. So again, a fantastic option at a really low price point. Now there are a few things that you have to buy um, along with this radio if you want to keep steering wheel controls and you want things to mesh well um, as far as that goes. So that is the PAC system or PAC system. You can get them from any Best Buy for about 100, 150 bucks. Um, so not terrible, but if you want to keep your steering wheel controls, I would highly recommend it. It also makes the wiring so much easier. Um, and I'll put a picture here as to why, but it literally comes with a wiring harness and it matches up with the new radio. So just makes life a lot easier when you're wiring things in. Um, and also installing it makes it a lot easier because you're not having to mess with a bunch of wires. Of course, you still have to mess with the wires to connect them, but the pack system makes it so much easier to do that. It gives you a full diagram of what connects to what. Um, it just makes life a lot easier for the install. I would highly recommend the pack system. Um, but you can also get, I believe it's called a Maestro or Maestro module, and I'll put that over here. Um, but that's really cool because you can see the miles per hour, you can see temperatures, things like that on your Jeep screen. So it adds a whole nother level of features. Now it is a little bit more expensive, I believe, so you'll, you'll have to do some research on that. I've never ran that system myself, but I've heard great things about it and it definitely adds some features when it comes to the radio on your Jeep. So if you want added features, that's a great option for you. Now you're also going to need a new antenna adapter, as I believe what it is. It's just a little cord that's just an adapter for your antenna. Um, that was probably about 20 bucks on Amazon, I believe, if I remember correctly. Maybe even less than that. I'll actually link that down in the description, but um, very cheap. You definitely need it if you want to keep your radio controls, um, so make sure you do get that. But again, 20 bucks, not a big deal. All in all, you're still into this for less than 500 bucks um, to upgrade the interior of your Jeep and really enjoy the experience in it. To me, well worth it. Now another piece you're going to need um, along with the pack system if you want to keep your steering wheel controls um, as well as the antenna adapter that I also talked about is you're going to need a Skosh um, replacement kit here. So it just includes these two little side pieces that make it look like it fits well in this system. Um, I'll also link that down below. Alright guys, now to install the new Sony stereo, um, the first step is of course to take this off and it just pulls off. So you got that piece off there. And then as you can see, I have my pedal commander laying here, but you need to take off this 10 millimeter, that 10 millimeter, 
And then there is also one right here. It's really small, you can't really see it there. Um, but once you take that off, this whole entire, well actually, that one and this uh, eight or, no this might be an eight actually. Yeah, I think it's an eight millimeter. So eight millimeter, eight millimeter, and then two tens right here. Now once you do that, this whole piece here will be loose, this whole entire piece. You also need to pop this off, and it just pops off with a little flathead screwdriver. So you'll pop that off, and there's another um, eight millimeter down here as well. So three, basically three bolts, um, and then also one at the very top here, which is in your little um, holder for all your stuff here. Once you take this plastic inner piece off um, at the top, there will be another eight millimeter that you'll need to take off, and then this whole entire dash pulls off. Um, so everything right here will pull off. This part will stay. It's just this middle piece and then over your cluster here as well will also come off. Um, so it all comes off as one piece, which is really nice. And then that's when you can get to reinst or reinstalling the new radio here. Now there's also a top bar that goes along right here once you get this dash off. You're going to want to either cut that or trim it so that you can fit this in here correctly. Because um, if not, it's going to sit weird and it's not going to look like it's flush with this piece here. Um, so you need to either trim it or cut it. There are other videos on this, so I'm not going to do a full install on this. Uh, but there are videos on how to do that, and it's, it's very simple. So once you do that, you can start your wiring. And again, there is a diagram that's included with the pack system that you can find online as well. Um, so very simple, and then you'll just reinstall it, and everything goes back the way that it came from. And again, guys, I didn't do the full install on this uh, in this video because I've already done it, and I'm not going to take the whole thing apart. But I was able to complete the whole entire process, so taking off the dash, uh, removing the old stereo, doing the wiring, all of that all together took me maybe an hour and a half to two hours. So it is a very quick process, very simple, and there are other videos um, on YouTube here on how to do that fully. So I would recommend watching those full install videos. Um, this is mainly a review video though, since I've had this on for, been, been about a year now. Um, so again, great option with the Sony, easy install. You shouldn't have any trouble if you have some basic tools. You really only need an eight millimeter, a 10 millimeter, and a screwdriver to pry off some of the plastic pieces. Now, if you really wanna go all out and get a really nice stereo for your Jeep, which you can do, uh, there are multiple levels, of course, to what you can upgrade on the radio on this thing. Um, now, the top of the line, you're looking at the Alpine Restyle Kit. Um, or maybe even the Stinger High 10, um, which is also a fantastic option. Um, but those are gonna run you more around the range of $1,000 or more. Um, so if you are in that price range, those are two fantastic options for you. Um, I've heard nothing but great things about them and they look phenomenal in the Jeep. So another great option for you guys if you're looking to spend a little bit more and get more features and luxury in the interior of your JK. All right guys, and that's gonna do it for today's video. Hope this helped you out when you're looking you know, for interior mods on your Jeep. That is such a great option and it's not very expensive. Something very affordable you can do to really add to the experience on the interior, make it look a little nicer, and also add some convenience as well. You know, it is important when you're daily driving your vehicle to really enjoy that. So while a Jeep is awesome the way it is, definitely would be nice to have that in your Jeep. Um, so definitely something to consider. And I'm not sponsored by Sony or getting anything from this. I just really love that radio and think it's the best bargain out there when you're looking for an interior mod um, to really add some spice to your Jeep. Um, so I would definitely recommend the Sony. Again, there are, other, there are other great options out there. So this is not the only option that you have, but it's the option I went with. I've been very happy with it. I've had zero issues. So definitely something I would recommend just from my experience. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. If you have any questions, drop them down below. Um, I have installed a few stereos in Jeeps before, so I do have some expertise in that. So if you ever have any questions about the, you know, the install or the features or anything like that, I'd be glad to help you guys out. Um, but again, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe for more Jeep and off-road content coming your way, and I will see you guys in the next one.